What up, y'all? Just sitting here. <clears throat> About to read this Rolling Stone magazine. Yeah, I know it's old, but just wanted to sit there and look through it again. Real Talk Episode 4. So, Summer Jam was what? A couple days ago. And if y'all haven't heard, some shit went down with 50 Cent. Slow Bucks. It was epic. You know what I'm saying? Um, you had G on the reunion. You had him and Nas. Uh, Troy Ave was there. Trey Songs was there. Um, what's Fat Bro name that sound like um, Ghostface Killer? Action Bronson was there barefooted. That shit was crazy. But so basically what happened, Slow Bucks, if y'all from New York, y'all already know who he is. Uh, basically got snuffed and got his chain took and 50 Cent ended up with it around his neck. So how do you guys feel about that whole situation? Because people were saying that Slow Bucks fucks with Trav and 50 don't fuck with Trav. And basically, you know what I mean? It wasn't 50 that actually, you know, snuffed him. It was a couple of his goons. It was during a performance of him and Trey Songs. You know what I mean? And when I heard that shit, I watched the video clip or whatever. It, to me, you can't really, you can see 50 performing, but you can't really, you see something in the background happening and it looked like somebody running and you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you can't really make it out, but you do see some action happening in the back. And to me, shit, 50 is just on promo for real. This show was flopped in a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Album come out tomorrow. Um, He got what a movie couple movies coming out his uh showtime show power coming out uh he going to release i think he said in a week or two the release date for uh uh street king immortal so he definitely on a run you know what i'm saying as far as promotion go but i mean this is nothing new that we've seen from 50 cent you know what i mean as far as his street credibility if y'all really um want to hear some real talk go check the breakfast club last interview with him on there, he talks a, uh, a lot about, you know, G-Unit and the record industry and shit like that. He always gives good interviews and everything like that. And I will be picking his album up tomorrow, not based on uh, the simple fact that I enjoyed it. It's that he actually did something that I was saying that he should have did with the massacre. And that's pit the visuals that he put out with the packaging. So if you go uh, to Best Buy... The exclusive, you know, they're going to have the whole um, deluxe version or whatever, standard version, of course, you know, with just the the standard tracks and then the deluxe edition, and they may do the super deluxe edition or some bundle pack or something like that. But I'm definitely uh, hoping I can get there in time to grab the deluxe edition with um, the visuals for it, because I actually seen the visuals. Um, it was dope the way I watched it online on YouTube for or it was like, not YouTube, but a stream of the album. But since he did so many visuals for each song or some of the songs, that's what had came up. So I think he got a visual for every song, I'm not sure. But definitely, I think that's a good marketing strategy. So you get more for your buck out of just buying the album if you particularly didn't enjoy it as well. But it was some joints that maybe the, vi the video helped you like the song better. Not to say all the videos was that great. But at the end of the day, at least it gives you more for your buck, like I said. So I'll definitely be picking up that tomorrow. I was skeptical on it. And the review will be coming uh, with it. I think I'm going to do the review some, somewhat different. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just the basic me in front of a camera do something different. Similar to this. But at the end of the day, I mean, the situation with uh, Flo Buck, you know, I don't know too much about that cat. You know what I mean? I think I seen him on an interview on ForbesDVD.com, and I think he has some kind of clothing line. But I do want to know more about the situation, what happened. You know what I'm saying? Why did... I, I guess he came on stage or some shit. You know what I mean? And we all remember when uh, Jay-Z was on the stage performing Alicia Keys, and Lil Mama came on stage, and he was like, if that was me, she wouldn't have came on stage. You know what I'm saying? He threw a couple shots at Jay in an interview on The Breakfast Club. But at the end of the day, I do want to know if that's the case, that did he just feel like, you know, he in New York, 
he from New York, he just walked on stage with 50 Cent or whatever, what have you, and if that's the case, I mean, shit, 50 don't play that type of shit, he said that himself, he did, but other than that, man, I just thought that shit was crazy, Summer Jam seemed like it was cool, um, what else happened, oh, Chris Brown from what I hear is out of jail, so, that's actually a good look, maybe we will get that, uh, album x or 10 whatever you want to call it I think it's his sixth solo album so i heard it's his last uh definitely want to see what uh his promo run will be far as interviews and media you know what i'm saying i think um they definitely threw him under the bus far as making an example out of him i'm not the biggest chris brown fan but fair is fair and right is right wrong is wrong you dig but i don't think he was done fairly in that whole situation you know but he wouldn't be in the situation from the jump if he wouldn't have put himself in that incident involving rihanna so many years ago and can we please get over that that should happen so long ago can we just stop using that as an example of every time bring up chris brown name i think that shit is crazy it's absurd and i'm just getting tired of it Drake dropped off a new track after the uh, Summer Jam, Zero to 100. Um, definitely, I think I like the second half of the song, more soulful. You know what I mean? The first half of the song, it's really nothing new. And that's the sad part about Drake. Like, he's so talented, but it's just the same braggadocious type rap. You know, if it wasn't for me, blah, blah, blah. I invented a style y'all ran with, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? The second half of the song is more introspective, more on his personal side, you know, and, and that's the type from Drake uh, that I do like. I think it has a sample by James Blake, if I'm not mistaken, you know, so I think that's pretty dope. Um, other than that, I was actually shocked to see that um, he actually dropped some new tracks. And in the song, he did say that he's gearing up to drop another project if you listen to it for what it's worth so i doubt it'd be this year but a couple of his artists he gonna drop you know this year so that should be good it's just good to see him get the feel of music again and realize that your last album wasn't that self-proclaimed great as you thought it was even though it went platinum but still i think he has something up his sleeve far as you know giving his fans something that they can really be like, okay, wow, that's the Drake that we all know and love. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? It was somebody else's song that I, I was going to talk about. Oh, Gunplay uh, song with Rick Ross. It's called I. I think it's cool. Uh, if that's the first single from his album, Living Legend, I definitely think that he need to go back in the lab and try again. No offense, but shit, nothing is even fucking with Bible on my dashboard, in my personal opinion. That's just me. Damn, whatever happened to Carrie Hilson? Shit, she been gone to the motherfucker ever since this bullshit album. She been gone for a minute. But yeah, he definitely need to uh, get back in the lab and, and try some new things. And check his uh, interview out on The Breakfast Club as well. Uh, he definitely talked some, you know, some real shit in that interview and things of that nature. Uh, as far as drugs, you know, I don't think he really fuck with drugs like that no more or Molly and all that shit. You know, he's trying to stay out of trouble. I think he said he made his inner circle smaller, you know, and I think that's definitely a good look. Um, people is doubting that he will even have an album. You know, is it a budget open for it? But as he and Ross said that, yeah, it's a budget for gunplay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, T.I. song, uh, Ain't About the Money, featuring Young Thug. I think that song is pretty great. Um... This interview was dope. This is when Wayne first got out of jail. Um, I think T.I. has a different type sound. At first, I was skeptical on him being on a song with Young Thug. But, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like that song is dope. You know, it's a different lane for T.I. But at the end of the day, I mean, it wasn't half bad. Young Thug definitely, like I say, can do a hook. You know what I'm saying? Um after the verse that I heard him on um, Chinks, you know, the hook he did on Chinks Drugs album, if I'm correct. Yeah, he did do a uh, hook on there. I definitely am impressed with him and definitely want to see him at least drop a full-length project. Um, what else? What else? I think Joel Santana signed to 
YMCMB now, so that should be interesting. We may actually finally get the I Can't Feel My Face album. That's not really new news. I think that happened like some time last week, but I still wanted to speak on it. Um, Nikki new song, I think I talked about that, but at the end of the day, shit, hey, it is what it is. But that's just basically what I just wanted to speak on. So what do y'all feel? If y'all from the East Coast, uh, this 50 Cent situation, how was Summer Jam? Did anything else happen at Summer Jam that, you know, maybe I didn't know or need to talk about? You know what I mean? Um, definitely shout to the subscribers. Thanks for rocking with me. I kind of see the views on my page is kind of not where they should be. So I think people are still skeptical about, you know, that controversial video that I did. But all the real ones that are still here, I rock with y'all, man. Uh, got some more reviews coming later this week. So uh, stay tuned. And other than that, man, y'all be real like I am. And all you haters, y'all can eat a dick, pause. I'll holler at y'all, man. One.